So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the equations of linear graphs. Here's an example of a linear graph that's been sketched. And um, this one has a positive gradient, and I can see the y-intercept is above the x-axis, so it will be positive as well. And if it was a negative gradient, it would go this way. And if it had a negative y-intercept, so it would go through somewhere here maybe. So positive gradient and negative y-intercept would be like that. Negative gradient and negative y-intercept would go somewhere here. Now, this, this is what the equation could look like. Now, you're going to have a, a, a y, you're going to have an x. You may have a number here, or you may not, because this number may be zero, so it may not be there. Or if, if everything was put to one side, okay, you could get this as well. But notice here that there's no number in front of the y. Okay, so this is a special form that gives us lots of different patterns that we can see from the equation. So we need to know this one. But we need to understand that sometimes the equation of the graph can be written like this as well. So here are two examples that we can look at. So the first example is in this form. So I've got a y here, similar to that. And 3x here, which is similar to mx. So m has been replaced by a 3. And a takeaway 4 here, similar to plus c. So I can say that this is plus negative 4 for my one. Okay, so negative 4 here. So this equation... Um, would be, if I was to sketch it, I know that it has positive gradient, okay, because the gradient I know from m, okay, so this number here is positive, so positive 3, and I have negative 4 for y-intercept. So let's sketch some axes here. And um, so the sketch of this graph w would have to have positive gradient, so it has to go like this. But it can't go through here because this would be a positive y-intercept. A negative y-intercept would be here. So maybe somewhere here, negative 4. And the graph may look like that. Okay, so this may have a positive gradient. This has a positive gradient, and it crosses negative 4. That's the uh, equation for this graph. Now, if I look at my next example, so this one is more in this format. So A here is negative 4. B here is 1, because 1y is the same as y. And C is 1, and the 0 is there as well. Now, this form doesn't tell me anything about the gradient or the y-intercept. I need to rearrange this to find that. So what I can do is I can add 4x to both sides. So add 4x. I'm left with y plus 1 equals 4x. Then if I take away 1 to both sides, I have y equals 4x take away 1. Now, what I have now is uh, the equation in the form y equals mx plus c again. So now I know the gradient is 4 and the y-intercept is negative 1. So if I was to sketch this one, um, I know that it will cross here at negative 1. And the gradient is 4, which is positive, so it would go a little bit like this. Okay, so again, similar to this one, but it crosses at negative 4. And it should be a bit steeper than this one because this has a gradient of 4 and this one had a gradient of 3. Okay? Now, this example is going to be a lot harder because it will need some good algebra skills to um, see what's going on here. And this is because there's a number in front of the y. So the question is find the gradient and y-intercept. So I would need to change this in the form y equals mx plus c. So let's start the same way we started the last one. So this will have to be moved from here and put here. So I need to take away 3x on both sides. So take away 3x here and take away 3x here. That leaves me with 2y take away 8 equals negative 3x. Then if I add 8 here and add 8 here, so add 8 and add 8, that gives me 2y equals negative 3x add 8. And now I have 2y equals something that looks like mx plus c, okay? But I don't want the 2. I want just y. So if this is 2y, I can divide each term by 2, okay? So I can divide each term by 2. So I divide this by 2. Now, if I divide this entire side by 2, I can split that into two fractions and say, well, that's the same as divide by 2 here and divide by 2 here, okay? Now, on this side, the 2s will cancel, and I'm going to be left with y. So I have y here equals this part here, negative 3 
x divided by 2 is the same as negative 3 over 2x and plus 8 over 2 is 4. So this is plus 4. So this time I've got the form y equals mx plus c. Now the m is negative 3 over 2. So negative 3 over 2, I can think of it as negative 1.5 but I'm not going to write that. Okay, so I want to write fractions in my equation so this is how I'm going to leave it. And the y-intercept is 4. So if I was to sketch this, so I'll draw some axes. I know that there's negative gradients. So negative gradients, so the line will go like this. And plus 4, meaning that it will cross somewhere here. So it will cross somewhere here, like 4. And the negative gradient would mean my line would go a little bit like this. Okay? So negative gradient and crossing out 4. So 4 is the y-intercept. So find the gradient and the y-intercept. Well, the gradient, the gradient is negative 3 over 2. Notice that I didn't write negative 1.5. This is fine, okay? And then the y-intercept is 4. Now, here are some for you to try. So there's two things that you need to do for each equation. Find the gradient and y-intercept for each equation. And you also need to draw a sketch for each equation the same way I have shown in the video. So just draw your axes, mark where the y-intercept is, and then decide if it's a positive gradient or negative gradient, and just draw the line through that.